It's disappointing to hit, sit there and listen to, uh, for us to listen to UNO celebrate on one side and Corpus Christi celebrate on the other, and we get to go home. I'll just say this, I, I'm excited about our team next year. I hope everybody gets their licks in this year because we'll be here again. Augustine, Aaron, off the backboard? Are you kidding me? Shannon Bones. Find instead Leon Gilmore. He'll run it up the floor and throw it down with authority. Left side, Kinnett. Ivan drives, puts it off the glass. He'll score and draw the foul. Ivan Kinnett to Harris, to Bogues. Three on one, Shannon to Como, and John will lay it up and in. Pushed into the corner, elevates, jumper, up, bounces, no good. Tipped out, Augustine at the border. Let it fly, wins it with a three, and the buzzer. Wins it for the Lumberjacks, 68-65 on the offensive rebound, and the 22-footer. When you play Stephen F. Austin, you better bring your big boy pants and you better be tough, because uh, it, it's it's not going to be a game that, you know, if, if you're faint of heart, you don't want to play in that game. Feed Jovan near the left block. Hook over his right shoulder. Jovan. 7.51 to do the Lumberjacks. Harris downtown, seventh three of the game. Stephen F. Austin at a high level right now with a ton of confidence, a lot of fire, a lot of moxie. Fresh 30. Kinnett takes a long three and hit oh, My goodness. Kinnett thought he was fouled. He was off balance. Drains a three. Lumberjacks lead by two. So the Jacks have another dagger in them. Scramble for the ball with 10 seconds. They get it to Kinnett underneath, and he puts it in with six seconds. No timeout called here by the Tigers. Here comes Waters. Waters inside the F, blew the layup. And Stephen F. Austin has pulled off the upset, their first ever win against an SEC team. What a win. And what a gritty performance by Stephen F. Austin. And what a finish to this game. Here's the danger part about playing against Stephen F. Austin. They are as disruptive as a defensive team, maybe in college basketball. They're second overall in steals. They get after you on the defensive end and convert uh, turnovers into points. Stephen F. Austin has no fear. Charles. Bones. Go strong to the rim. They are giving you nothing on either end. Oh my goodness, Holyfield throws it down. That is owning your spot on offense. The floor with it for the Lumberjacks. Season opening, takes it, puts it up. He'll score and draw the foul. Final, 82-66, Lumberjacks win it over Sam Houston in a hard fought one this afternoon. Our guys definitely have an edge about us because all we've talked about all year long is Katie, 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 Katie. We know we're judged on how we do in Katie. Hopefully it'll be really heavily attended. I know our fans will show up. They, they've proven that time after time. Uh, we have, the, to me, some of the best fans in America. We're trying to create our own legacy. We've lived off those other guys for a long time around here. These guys, and I'm great, I'm grateful for it, what they've done. But this group of guys need to create their own legacy. Anyway, it's time for us to create a legacy around here as well. Conference Championship. Lord Lindo here with Lance Blanks in Katy, Texas. Southeastern Louisiana, the one seat for the first time in program history. Stephen F. Austin, been there, done that. Stephen F. is a little bit of an institution, if you will, and then the new kids on the block, Southeast Louisiana. Lowell, I'm excited. I think we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Charles driving on Charleston and really collected himself there. Yeah, and Charles, again, creating offense off the bounce. 
and all things change. Oh, that's Paul Dugan in the flush from Haley Field. And in transition, it's Gilmore. Lumberjacks trying to run away with the thing early on. For the pressure of the moment, the response from Kevon Harris. He makes the right plays at the right time all game long. Greenwood simply lost the handle. Charles taking it away. Como, transition, gets it to drop. Holyfield, the rebound, and the Lumberjacks are dancing. Axe in hand. S.F.A. Invitational. Yep. It has been dominated by Stephen F. Austin. For SFA. Add another one to the dance list. You got the Lumberjacks from Stephen F. Austin ready to dance all night. Nets coming down here in Katy as Stephen F. Austin wins the Southland Conference Championship. Can't say it enough how much respect I have for, for the program. They're the Kentucky of the Southland Conference. You know, I mean, when it comes down, look at their fan base and the way they supported their team. That's the way it's supposed to be. That would be great if we can have that going at a lot of our league sites. And uh, so, so a lot of admiration for them. The Red Raiders of Texas Tech out of the Big 12, and they will take on Stephen F. Austin. In Dallas, Texas, how about that game? And the party continues downtown Dallas as they make their way inside American Airlines. Center, Stephen F. Austin, Texas Tech. Long pass down the floor. Ty Charles then kicks out into the corner. Oh, this is oh, Shannon Boggs coming with the heat. Well done, they can move it. Ball deflected, Connect takes it back. Connect all the way to the wreck, going glass. I like him. He is smooth. Um, Harris, I'm sorry. Look at uh, Francis trying to deny Harris. Harris to beat the halftime buzzer. They didn't let Bowes get it. That's what I was trying to say. It was outstanding defense, but obviously somebody stepped up to back him up. Kevon Harris with the nice through the legs separation. Step back and watch the bench. They knew it. Bingo! Open it up, the best player on the sideline. Holyfield, beautiful ball movement, and he will shoot a free throw. I love the play. They knew the hard hedge was coming, so you get off of it, throw it to a wing, and he has a better angle to find TJ Holyfield with the possible and one. As their season comes to an end. And meantime, the Texas Tech Red Raiders moving on into the round of 32. Their, their successful run through the Southland Conference, winning a championship in the conference tournament. They're just a good defensive team. They do it in different ways. Uh, they'll trap, they'll deny, they press, and then above all, it's just discipline. It's a Kyle Keller team, you know, they're not going to make mistakes. They're hard, they're tough. Uh, we're, we're pleased to get this win. You know, I would agree with the first question, that, that's not a 14 seed. That's, that's one of the best teams, uh, you know, I think in college basketball this year.